The Ice Forge Center is designed to accommodate a number of diverse activities. It's an active gathering point where local residents, businesses, climate researchers, climate debaters and global tourists meet in a dynamic learning and exhibition space. The building is designed as an all-encompassing framework, partly inside and partly outside, that embraces all activities. The city of Iluliset and the Icefjord Center are connected, just as the Icefjord Center and the UNESCO site are connected. As a visitor travels through Iluliset and leaves the city behind, the context transforms into natural scenery. At the entrance to the site, the view and horizon merge into a singular view that tells the story of this specific site. The wooden framework, designed as a truss, bridges the rugged landscape. It floats lightly above it, curving over the edge of the Samemiot Valley, offering the spectacular undisturbed view through the valley and to the ice fjord. The framework is covered by a gently sloping, curved wooden boardwalk that becomes the starting point for the World Heritage Trail and at the same time acts as a gathering point, a viewing platform and an informal seating area. Moving across the roof, like when hiking to reach the top of a hilltop, a visitor will meet the magnificent open view of the ice fjord and overlook the route of the trail before walking on. The roof deck acts as a point of departure for local residents when going for a walk, a place to watch the sunset or gather in the evening sun. The movement across the roof, from the intimate landscape protected by the curved building and the rock wall, to the open expansive landscape, forms a gateway between civilization and nature. At the covered entrance terrace, the visitor is met by a large wooden display wall with an introduction to the UNESCO site and the ice fjord. The display wall has a long built-in bench for visitors waiting for a group or simply enjoying the view. The view through the open construction looks across Lake Samimio to the UNESCO protected zone and back through the valley towards Iluliset. The display wall leads the visitors along the terrace to the entry vestibule. The cafe is clearly visible to the left of the vestibule, and during the summer there's a separate entrance that leads directly into the cafe. Having arrived through the vestibule, the visitor is immediately met by the combined information serving sales desk, the service hub. During the low season, one person can supervise and serve the entrance, shop, cafe, and exhibition at the same time. During the high season, the service hub is spacious enough to accommodate a number of staff members. The shop is ideally located near the entrance and is immediately visible as soon as one enters the building. Situated directly to the right of the service hub, a visitor passes the shop on both entering and exiting the exhibition. The slightly outward leaning wall, equipped with shelves, makes excellent display furniture for exhibited objects. Mobile furniture at different heights with built-in storage display additional items. The cloakroom adjacent to the shop is designed as a flexible space with mobile wardrobes. The cafe sits to the left of the service hub and has a view overlooking Lake Samimiot and the Ice Fjord. There is a direct access from the cafe to the protected outdoor serving area on the entrance terrace. Sliding walls separate the cafe from the exhibition space and allow the cafe and service hub to be thoroughly disconnected from the exhibition area. Passing the ticket zone, the visitor enters the exhibition area. With high ceilings, the large space acts as a multi-purpose zone with a spectacular view along the valley to the ice fjord. The area can be designed with enclosed spaces, alternating with exhibition walls or freestanding objects according to the needs of the exhibition design. The view to the ice fjord and the surrounding landscape can be integrated into the exhibition design or can be carefully controlled. The glass panels can be alternated with insulated wooden panels if it's needed to accommodate the exhibition design. Daylight and glare are regulated by the motorized wooden louvers mounted on the inside of the facade and hidden in the ceiling when not in use. When used, the louvers regulate the amount of daylight and glare according to the season. The administration offices and research facilities are placed at the southern end of the building and are directly accessed from the west terrace. The offices and research facilities have a more intimate view towards Lake Samimiut on one side 
and to the West Terrace on the other. The West Terrace is used as an informal outdoor area in connection with administration and research work, an outdoor classroom for school children studying found rocks and plants, and as a general gathering place. This is where visitors enjoy the evening sun, locals and tourists take a break after walking, and where researchers clean and test equipment, all protected from the prevailing southwest wind by the sloping roof. The West Terrace is equipped with an outdoor fireplace and a permanent bench along the wall for enjoyment of the low evening sun. Moving through the building, the geometry changes in section in a continuous flow. The frames rotate from a triangular opening at one end to a rectangular section at the midpoint and around to a triangle at the other end. The movement of the structure and form creates a constantly changing view that enhances the experience of the landscape and the color of the sky as it changes, from cold to warm, from blue to pink, depending on the direction of the view. This center is a meeting place for humanity. Here we can tell the stories not only about the ice and its wonders, but also about what ice and the ice ages have meant to us, as humans. We can talk about why ice is still a defining component for a planet inhabited by human civilizations. How ice has shaped the peoples of Greenland and far beyond that, the global community, and why it matters so much to our future.